In this chapter, we'll look at how to display important information on modding and how we can influence the game directly. We'll look at an example from Farming Simulator 2013, as the procedure for Farming Simulator 2015 is the same. First, we switch to the folder My Documents, My Games, Farming Simulator 2013 and open the file Game XML in Notepad. In the Development section, we set controls to True. Now we start up Farming Simulator and begin a new game. The alterations we made to the game XML file have enabled some different options. With the F2 key, we can see the frames per second. The F4 key turns on the wireframe mode while the F5 key activates debug rendering and the physical objects will be displayed. With F8, we can activate statistics and switch between the pages. The first page of the statistics is called Render Stats and displays information on the rendering. For instance, how many of the objects currently in view need to be drawn or how much of the graphics card memory is being used. The second page is used to display information on the current physics calculations. The third page gives an overview of the different sections of the program code and how much time each section needs. And on the fourth page, we have information on the audio sources. With the press of the button located above the tab key and to the left of the one key, we can open the console. With another press of this button, we can select the input for the console. The hash symbol and the blinking cursor in the last line let us know that we can now type commands into the console we can scroll through potential commands with a tab key. For example, with GS set daytime, we can set the in-game time of day. With GS start rain, we can set the current weather to rain, although it will take a bit of time before the rain starts. Therefore, we'll speed up time a bit, so we can see the effect of our command. Finally, we want to look at two very useful commands that help adjusting a vehicle in the game and optimize its handling. When sitting in the vehicle, we can enter the command GS Vehicle Reload from XML and the settings will then be dynamically reloaded and applied to our vehicle. Such settings include the system of springs and shock absorbers, the steering speed and the characteristics of the engine and transmission. With this we can easily check the different settings of our vehicle and incrementally upgrade the performance of our vehicle without having to restart Farming Simulator after each change. This command also has an effect on attached devices. As such, we can also quickly set the properties of a trailer, for example. The second command is called GS Clear I3D Cache. This is very useful for when we have changed something in one of our mod's I3D files. For example, if we changed the position of a vehicle's camera or the tipping animation of a trailer in the XML file, we only need to sell our original vehicle run the command and then repurchase the revised vehicle to try out the changes we've made without having to restart Farming Simulator. However, there's no way to reload changes to your mod scripts. We therefore have to restart Farming Simulator in order to check the changes to the scripts. We can close the console by pressing the aforementioned button again. 